Did you know that bats are the only mammals that can fly? Yes, you heard it right. Not even Superman can compete with them. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of these unique creatures. Bats are not just ordinary mammals. They're extraordinary. They belong to the order Chiroptera, which means hand wing in Greek. Pretty cool, huh? There are over a whopping 1,300 species of bats worldwide, and they come in all shapes and sizes, from the tiny bumblebee bat that's no bigger than your thumb, to the giant flying fox with a wingspan as wide as a human is tall. But regardless of their size, all bats share one common trait, their incredible ability to fly. Unlike birds, bats don't just flap their wings, they perform a complex series of movements that's more like swimming through the air. So next time when you think of flying mammals, don't forget our little friends, the bats. Bats might look a bit spooky, but their body structure is absolutely fascinating. Let's start with their wings. Unlike birds, bats don't have feathers. Their wings are actually made of a thin layer of skin stretched over long, slender finger bones. Imagine if you had skin between your fingers that stretched out every time you spread your hands wide. That's how a bat's wings work. Next, let's talk size. The size of bats varies greatly depending on the species. The smallest bat, the bumblebee bat, is about the size of a large bumblebee. On the other hand, the giant golden-crowned flying fox, the largest bat, has a wingspan that can reach up to 5 feet. Now bats may not have feathers but they do have fur. Their fur helps them to keep warm in cooler climates, it's like wearing a cozy sweater all the time. But what about their ears and eyes? Bats have large ears that help them listen for the echoes of their own calls, bouncing off objects around them. This is known as echolocation, and it's how bats navigate in the dark. Their eyesight isn't as bad as you might think either. While not as sharp as a human's during the day, a bat's vision is perfectly suited for their nighttime adventures. And speaking of nighttime, let's not forget about their nocturnal lifestyle. Bats are most active at night and rest during the day. They have a special adaptation in their ankles that allows them to hang upside down without exerting any effort. It's like their own built-in hammock. Lastly, bats have sharp teeth. This might seem scary, but these teeth are perfect for their diet, which can include everything from insects to fruit. So, from their winged hands to their hanging feet, bats are perfectly designed for their life in the dark. Their unique body structure not only allows them to fly, but also to navigate and hunt in the pitch black of night. Isn't it amazing how bats are perfectly designed for their nighttime adventures? Ever wondered what bats eat? They don't just hang upside down all day. Bats have a pretty diverse palate, you know. Most bats are insectivores, which means they absolutely love munching on insects. Imagine a bat as a tiny superhero, swooping in to save the day, one bug at a time. They can eat up to a thousand mosquitoes in an hour. Now that's what I call pest control. But hold on, not all bats are into bugs, some bats are fruitarians. Yep, you heard it right. These bats enjoy a good fruit salad. They play a crucial role in seed dispersal, helping forests to grow. And then, there are the nectar-loving bats. These bats have a sweet tooth and contribute to the pollination of many plants. Oh, and let's not forget the infamous vampire bats who, yes, do drink blood. But don't worry, they prefer the blood of animals over humans. So next time you see a bat, don't worry, they're probably just looking for a juicy bug to snack on. If you were a bat, where would you live? Well, that's a question that might just have you hanging upside down in excitement. Bats have quite an interesting choice when it comes to their habitats. You see, bats aren't picky. They can be found in almost every part of the world except the extreme desert and polar regions. First off, let's talk about caves. They're like a five-star hotel for bats. Why, you might ask? Caves provide bats with a dark, quiet, and safe place to rest during the day. They're cool in the summer, warm in the winter, and offer the perfect environment for bats to hang out, literally. Bats love to hang upside down from the roofs of caves when they're not flying around in the night sky. But it's not just caves that attract these nocturnal creatures. Trees make for another fantastic dwelling place. In the hollows of trees or under loose bark, bats find a cozy and secure home. Some bats even prefer the comfort of foliage, creating tents by biting leaves to cause them to droop down. And then there are the city dwellers. Yes, some bats have adapted to urban environments and they can often be found roosting in buildings, bridges or even attics. Just like a city slicker, these bats have traded the natural cave for the concrete jungle. They've found that buildings and other man-made structures provide them with the same dark and quiet conditions they love so much. 
But remember, regardless of where they live, bats prefer places that are dark and quiet during the day. This is because bats are nocturnal, which means they're most active at night. During the day they rest and sleep often in large groups. So whether it's a cave, a tree, or your attic, bats just want a peaceful place to hang out. So if you're ever exploring a dark cave, keep an eye out for our fluttering friends. Bats might be small, but they play a huge role in our environment. Now you might be wondering, how can these tiny creatures be so important? Well, let's dive into that, shall we? First up, bats are phenomenal pollinators. Just like bees, they transfer pollen from male to female parts of flowers while they're out hunting for their favorite meal, nectar. In fact, some plants rely solely on bats for pollination. Imagine your life without avocados, bananas, and mangoes. Not so appealing, right? Well, you can thank bats for these delicious treats. Next up is seed dispersal. Bats love to munch on fruit, and when they do, they fly off, dropping seeds along the way. This helps in the growth of new plants and trees, aiding in the reforestation of cut-down areas. So if you're a big fan of lush green forests, bats are your little winged heroes. But the heroic deeds of bats don't stop there. They're also champions of pest control. A single bat can eat up to a thousand insects in just one hour. That's like having a small flying bug zapping machine in your backyard. And less pesky bugs mean fewer pests damaging our crops and gardens. So those who love gardening, bats are your best friends. Moreover, by gobbling up these insects, bats also reduce the need for chemical pesticides. This not only saves us money but also protects our wildlife and our health from harmful chemicals. So, in a way, bats are also our tiny environmental guardians. Isn't it incredible how such small creatures can have such a big impact on our world? They help our forests to grow, they keep our crops safe, and they play a crucial role in ensuring that we have some of our favorite fruits to eat. So let's give a big thank you to our bat friends for keeping our environment healthy. Remember, every creature, no matter how small, has a unique and important role in our ecosystem. And bats, well, they're simply our tiny heroes. Think you're a bat expert now? Let's put your knowledge to the test. Let's begin with our first question. Can you remember what makes bats unique among mammals? Is it their ability to sing, their love for daylight, or the fact that they can fly? That's right. Bats are the only mammals that can sustain flight. They don't just glide like flying squirrels, they actually fly. Question number two. We talked about bats' diets earlier. So what do you think most bats eat? Is it insects, fruit, or cheese? If you said insects, then you're correct. While some bats do enjoy a ripe piece of fruit, the majority of bat species prefer to snack on insects. So no, bats don't generally nibble on cheese, despite what some cartoons might have you believe. Now on to question three. Where do bats typically live? Is it in caves on top of trees or in nests like birds? If you said caves, then give yourself a pat on the back. Bats love to hang upside down in dark and quiet caves, though some can also be found in old buildings and tree hollows. Let's move on to question four. Bats have a special ability that helps them navigate in the dark. What's this ability called? Is it night vision, echolocation, or thermal sensing? If you said echolocation, you're absolutely right. Bats emit sounds that bounce off objects in their environment, helping them to see in the dark. And finally, our last question. What important role do bats play in the environment? Do they help pollinate plants, control insect populations, or both? If you said both, then you are spot on. Bats are crucial pollinators in many ecosystems, and by eating insects, they also help to control pest populations. Well done everyone, you're now officially bat experts.